Uh, shalom, shalom, this is a brother number one coming to you another lesson all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Kahakadosh. First and foremost, I'm going to give all the praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. I say Kaha Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Kahakadosh. I'm going to give double honors as always to, the, to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are well. And peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers out there is pushing this word in truth and sincerity. In the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And also, as always, uh, love goes out to you know, the remnant of Israel destined for salvation, man, who hearken unto these words, man. So it's going to be a quick hit. And this is an RT, man. It says, ex-Russian space bus questions U.S. moon landing. So you see, the beauty of what's happening in the world now is that Esau is being exposed, man. Or Edom, I say Edom is being exposed for just all the bullshit that they pulled, man. All the lies that they've told, all the wickedness, wickedness that they've done is, uh, is out there. You know, it's out there for all to see. You know, the, 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 the questioning of things is um, so apparent right now. You know, people don't believe or people are less likely to believe in Esau or Edom anymore. It says the former head of the Russians, of Russia's Rosco, Roscosmos Space Agency, Dmitry Rogozin, has expressed doubt that the US Apollo 11 mission really landed on the moon in 1969, saying he has yet to see conclusive proof. And of course, uh, watching it on TV in black and white is not proof of anything. Just because you saw the rocket go into the atmosphere, all right, that means nothing. When it comes to um, deception, Esau Edom is the, are the masters of that, all right. And it's all to gain power. It's a power that was a power move. You know, to show the, to try and show the nations that they are the greatest nation on the earth, that they can actually go outside. If anyone can go outside of the atmosphere and go to the stars and and land on another planet, it's Babylon. It's you know, it's AKA America. It's either you know the 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 foundation, you know, the headquarters of, of Esau Edom. Man, it says in a post on his Telegram channel on Sunday. Rogozin, asked, uh, Rogozin said that he began his personal quest for the truth about 10 years ago when he was still working in the Russian government and that he grew sceptical about whether the Americans had actually set foot on the moon when he compared how exhausted Soviet cosmonauts looked upon returning from their flights and how seemingly unaffected the Apollo 11 crew was by contrast. Rogozin said he sent requests for evidence to uh, Roscosmos at the time, all he received in response was a book featuring Soviet cosmonaut Alexei, Alexei Leonov's account of how he talked to the American astronauts and how they told him they had been on the moon. So it's all hearsay, it's all talk, it's all word of mouth and, and, and sketchy videos in black and white. <coughs> Since the former official wrote that he <coughs> continued with his efforts when he was appointed head of Roscosmos in 2018. However, according to Rogozin, no evidence was presented to him. Instead, several unnamed academics angrily criticized him for undermining the sacred cooperation with NASA, he claimed. And you know, NASA is heavily steeped in witchcraft, man. All right? Heavily. If you look at... um the stitching the badges that they stitch on the onto their um their their gear you know their space suits whatever you want to call them they uh they have all sorts of things on them that that are esoteric man to the untrained eye you know even some of them even have wizards on on the, um on their badges man because it's all witchcraft man it's all witchcraft it lies divination on the screen to fool you into believing that what you saw was real that you saw if you was alive in 69 old enough to understand what was supposedly going on that you saw these men 
go into space and then land on the moon. All right. So, yeah, that's why they call it sacred, man, because they're 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 on the left hand side, man, and they're dealing with these demons, these these wicked spirits, on the left hand side that are under the control of the Most High, and you know they're they're they're, they're in league with Satan, man. So it's all sacred to them, man. It says, um, the former Roscosmos chief also said he had received an angry phone call from a top-ranking official who supposedly accused him of complicating international relations. So, and that's just like, that's, um, what do you call it? That's spinning it, man. They're just trying to spin it. Instead of answering the question, they want to accuse the man, you know, who's simply seeking the truth. Anytime you're seeking the truth and people are trying to get angry about it, you know, and you, they're trying to bring you down about it. That's when you know you're onto something, man. Why is it? Why does it? If you if you went to the moon, if you one hundred percent went to the moon, right, and one man is 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 a uh, questioning what you've done. Do you need to get angry about that? If you know you've done it, if you know you've done something, do you need to get angry about that? No, it's, it's called def it's, it's deflection, man. It's deflection from the truth because they didn't do that. And more people are starting to wake up. The only people that still believe that are those so-called patriots, man. Those patriots of Babylon that are going to be burnt alive when that place gets destroyed, man. Because they believed in it so much. And that's all the nations that lived there, man. Including our people, man. Because you've got our people that believe in that bullshit as well, man. And it's all down to pride, really. They want to believe that they were the, that nation to do that. It says, um, Rogozin concluded by saying he still not, he still cannot believe that the U.S. was able to pull off the feat, but is now unable to, unable to, despite the incredible progress in technology since the late 1960s. And of course, they should be able to do that with ease, man. You can't replicate that. You telling me in 2023 you can't replicate what you did in 1969 with the technology? You don't. You shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to rely on the 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 the, the, the writings and the, the um all the information and the data that you took down at the time to do that. You should be able to come up with new data because you have new technology. What would be the purpose of using old data for new technology, man? It's pointless. So when they say that they lost the data on how to do that, no. They never, they never did it. They never thought that they'd get called out on this. They never thought that there'd be a time where people would start questioning things. And that's once again the pride of Esau, man. He says what he claimed to have found out, however, was that Washington has its people in the Russian establishment. Apollo 11 was the first manned mission to the moon with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin going down in history as the first humans to walk on the lunar surface. The flight was preceded by the unmanned Soviet Lunar 2 program which blazed the trail for moon exploration. Last April, President Vladimir Putin pledged to resume Russia's lunar program. And the same guys that are mentioned there, I'm not sure about Armstrong, but Buzz Aldrin has definitely now ref admit openly said that they never went to the moon. They never did it, man. And well, you know, people are claiming that you know he doesn't know what he's saying or he's just sex and talking to talk. Listen, man, that's an old man that has lived decades now, right? How many years is that now? Sixty nine, sixty nine. So what's that? Fifty four years. Fifty four years. Living with a lie. No matter who you are, unless you're the wickedest man on earth, man, that's gonna get to you, you know. So in the, you're gonna end up wanting to tell the truth to someone. There's always gonna be someone you wanna tell the truth to. Anyway, let me just get a couple of scriptures, man. Nothing um I'm gonna to go too deep on that, man. It's just nice that they're being exposed, man. Um Psalm 58, 3 says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. 
they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth the ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming ever so wisely. Because they're charmers, man. They set that up perfectly. They made it a national thing. They had the they had the public their public on side. They had the whole nation and the world. In fact, they had the world on their side, man. Because in those times, America, other than what they was doing in um Vietnam, wasn't really looked frowned upon as it is now. The world hates Babylon now, man. Not everyone says it, but they do. Back in those times, that was still deemed the, the land of opportunity, man. For those that didn't, for those that lived on the outside of it and didn't know what it was like on the inside, man. It says, break their teeth, or you have it in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of those young lions, O oh Lord. Listen, man, these people, that's their modus operandi, man. Their MO is just to lie. And their lying usually is for the purpose of power or to remain in it or to or to in, increase it they 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 live on a rulership of lies man a uh, proverbs 29 and 12 says if a ruler hearken to lies all his servants are wicked yeah because how many people do you think were involved in that all those people all of those people that were in that in you know mission control and all that other crap that you see in the movies or you see in the, in the black and white videos man all them people they were all involved man they're all carrying around lies you know that they serve to the people in order to what in order to serve their masters man you know It's a good one. If a ruler harkens to lies, his servants are wicked, man. Because they have to be involved. They have to be involved. To a degree. And that's not everybody. I'm pretty sure not everyone in you know in every building. Because I heard someone say that. Oh, there's everyone. All those people. Everyone thinks. It's, everyone knows it's a lie. Well, no, not everybody. There's certain ways you can keep people from the truth. Right? But yeah, the, the, those in those in the higher the uh, the higher echelon of things, they knew, they knew it was bullshit. <coughs> and now Esau's still trying to do it today, you know, with his space station and his green screens and his you know hanging off of cables, with, pretending to be in zero gravity. Man, it's just laughable. Look, man, you can't. There, there, there's you look scientific. The same people that tell you that they, the same scientists that tell you, or the same science that tells you that you can go to the moon and land on it, as I say, is the same science of this world that tells you you can't even reach the atmosphere due to those those belts, man. Those Van Allen belts, those you know, those radio, those radiation belts, man. So what is it? Can you or can't you, man? And they, that's what happens when you lie so much, man. Your lies catch up with you. Jeremiah 49 and 10, it says, But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbours, and he is not. And yes, the Lord is making Esau bear. That is what's really happening here. Right? His secret places, his, his lies, man. And this goes down to not just, you know, obviously not just down to whether or not they went to the moon. There's, there's so many lies that Esau's being exposed about now. You know, they think they're, they're so, they're getting so slack with what they're doing now that before they've even done things, people know they're what, what they're about to do. Just by the way, just by um, experience in the way that, you know, these these government officials and that's the way they speak about things. You know that when they're plotting the scheme. They, they, they told you, basically, they were going to destroy that Nord Stream. 
pipeline, man. And what happened? It got destroyed. Everybody knows it's them. You know, they, so they're just getting loose with themselves now, man. Because it's what? It's the, it's the end. It's the end for them, man. It's the, see, their, their world is coming to an end, man. And, you know, this will be, this is what we've been waiting for, man. Right, Mark 3, and 22, it says, And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He have Beelzebub, and by the prince of devils cast he out devils. And he called unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Because, let's not get it twisted here. All right, we Because uh, there's a lot of jakes in the world talking about how great Putin is, man. No, because he's doing this to America and he's going to Africa. Rare, rare. Listen, at the end of the day, he's an Edomite, man. All right? They're all Edomites. They're all devils. They're all the wicked. So let's not let's not act like Putin's the hero. Yeah, he's going to be good because, you know, we like him because he's going to destroy America, man, along with other nations. But ultimately, he's an Edomite, man. And he's going into captivity, man. So it says, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Because they're just tearing each other apart, man. They're tearing each other down. It says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but half an end. There you go. And if Satan can, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but half an end. So the end, man, this is bringing about their end. All right their end is coming <coughs> as a 47 and one says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thighs, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So their shame, the nakedness shall be uncovered, man. They're going to be exposed, man. And they show for everything. Because from what they've done to us, what they've done across around the world to all the other nations and going into countries and doing what they've been doing, what they've been pushing in, as a, in agendas, the wickedness that they've been trying to push out there, you know, the lies that they've told to try and put themselves in the position, all these things that amount up to all the shame that's going to be uncovered, they're going to be shown up to be nothing because they are nothing. The only reason they get to do what they do is because the Lord put them in this position, man. They haven't done it by themselves. And, and even though the Lord has put them in the position to do that, they've had to do it with wickedness, man, because they are wicked. Imagine the, the scripture tells you, man, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right. So the Lord gave them this earth, gave them the power to do what they wanted to do <coughs> or what they had to do. And they still had to do it through lies and deceit. So, and because when we get the kingdom, man, we're not going to be doing it like that. Because they're wicked and we are the righteous. We are of the righteous seed, man. Anyway, just a quick one. It's beautiful how Esau's getting exposed, man, in, on all different levels, man. You know, it's great. And that just means what? He's going to have to start getting serious, man. Making his move, man. Alright, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Kahal Yahal Ba'ashem Yahushai. Ba'ashem Rakah. Ha'kudash. And the Lord when it was edifying. And yeah, until the next one. Shalom.